Hello everyone, this is Maria from Maxificio. I'm filming today in beautiful Tenerife and I prepared for you today a short yoga class to open up the chest, the shoulders and also our hips. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you're interested in any of my online classes or you want to get in touch, you can visit my website maxificio.com. So we're gonna get it started on our backs in Supta Bandha Konasana which is butterfly pose on our back. So for this, please lie yourself onto your back. Bend your knees, bring your feet and your knees to touch, and then allow the knees to fall open. Connect the soles of the feet, and I want you to press them so you feel the inner thighs active. Make sure your lower back is not overarching. Keep it nice and soft, and then you can place the hands on the thighs. You can have one hand on the tummy, one hand on the chest, or you can keep the arms by your side. Choose the arm position that is better for you. Close, close your eyes, otherwise keep the eyes soft. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. As you complete the exhale, close your lips and begin to inhale and exhale through the nose only, slowing down the breath if possible. Making each inhale and each exhale a little bit deeper. Trying to set an intention for the practice. Noticing how your breath, how your body feels at the moment. And we're gonna try to also activate our Yahi Pranayama, which is when we constrict the back of the throat. So the inhales and the exhales become audible to you, not to others, so they're not too loud. Or if that's not comfortable to you, you're not familiar with the Yahi Pranayama, you can just simply think of activating a little bit your core, your pillow from the exhale, so activating our Udhiyani Bandha and Mula Bandha. We have a cat in the villa, so you might hear a bit of meowing. But try to stay connected with your breath. Try to feel again the hips opening, feet again stay active, the lower back stays neutral. One more breath here. Great, with your hands, you can help yourself to close the thighs, you can open the eyes slowly, bring the knees to the chest, up an asana, knees to chest pose, find a bit of movement. You can have one hand over the other, hand over each forearm, hand over each elbow, depending on your mobility, just starting. So if you can hug the knees too deeply, that's okay. And then from here, let's return the feet back down. Take them by the width of the mat, feet is slightly turned out, arms to goal pose, so 90 degrees, palms facing up, and we're gonna add a twist. We're gonna drop the legs to the right, neck to the left. You can add a bind if you like, so you can take the left foot, sorry, the right foot over the left knee to help you open up the left side a little bit deeper. Hold there, full breath. Release the foot from the bind, come back to center, and let's do it on the other side. Same thing. And if you want to do the bind, you can take now the left foot over the right. Notice the difference on both sides. Release the bind, if you're on the bind, come back to the middle. Take now the feet and the knees to touch, arms extended to the sides, palms still facing up. Turn again the legs to the right, neck to the left. Hold again for full breath. Breathe into the left side of the body. Back to center, same thing on the other side. Trying to feel the chest more open. Come back to center. We're gonna return again to knees to chest, and then we're gonna roll into a seated position. Cross the feet. And we're going to transition into four point kneeling. So three rounds of cat and cow, just to warm up the spine. So we're going to inhale for cow, look forward, exhale for cat. And again, inhale, extend the spine, exhale round. One more time.
I'm gonna stop neutral and from here I'm gonna take the right arm forward left arm back left leg back so we go to spinal balance but then from here bend your left knee take the right arm around try to grab the foot from the inside and kick look up opening up a bit the right shoulder and the left hip breathe in breathe out okay, release back to spinal balance and change other side let's go through the left arm right leg stay strong begin to bend your right knee, take the left arm around, grab the foot from the inside if you can, and kick, look up, open the left shoulder, right hip, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, release. From here, take the hands a bit further forward, wide, or as wide as the mat, and then drop the chest for Anahatas and a heart melting pose. It's a lovely heart opener for the front of the shoulders, for the upper back, inhale, exhale. Then return to four point kneeling, tuck all ten toes, and let's come through downward facing dog. Give a shake to the head, pedal the feet, find any movements that feel good. You can also swing the hips side to side. You can bend and extend both legs. Just experiment a little bit, see what feels good for you. and then eventually come to a static down dog. Okay, from here, you're gonna take a deep breath in, look towards the front of the mat, take the right leg up a touch, and you're gonna bring it to the outside of the mat, the outside of the right hand. Hold here, stay active through the left thigh. And then as already drop the knee, you can relax the toes and if possible, come down to one forearm, maybe come back, come down to both for lesser or pose. You can allow the right hip to open a bit more, so pivoting the right foot slightly outwards. Come back onto your hands if you were on the forearms. And then from here, pivot the foot towards the left side and come to pigeon. If you bring the foot by the hip, that will be a little bit easier. Stay tall to begin with. And then maybe eventually come down to sleeping pigeon. Relaxing your forehead on your forearms or your hands. Keep your breath going. And then from here, as you come up from pigeon, we're gonna try to come to fire lock pose with the left foot on top of the right knee. Maybe your knee won't come all the way down, but you're gonna try to stay there. Just think of the hips staying open. You can maybe take the fingertips a bit forward. Maybe you can fold again. Let's try to go to the position that feels better for you. And then from here, let's do cow face. So I'm just gonna bring one knee on top of the other. The more horizontal you keep your legs, the harder it will be. The closer you bring the heels towards your bum, the easier it will be. So we're gonna be taking the left arm up. You can hold it simply like this, or you can try to bring the right arm around and aim to bind your fingers. You might not be able to, so you can always uh, keep them apart or maybe use a shirt, a belt, something to help you with the bind. You've got all those options or so just simply hold the left elbow up. Once you're here, you should be feeling the right shoulder opening. We can either stay like this or we can fold, trying to keep the length on the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back to tall, release the bind, reach both arms up, palms facing one to another. Turn to the left, release the arms so your right hand will come to the left thigh. Left hand behind you, look over your shoulder. Hold, inhale, exhale, and then let's repeat it to the other side. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, this time, left hand towards the left knee, 
of the left shin, right arm behind you will feel slightly different. Okay, come back to tall, release the arms. Let's extend the legs in front of us for Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Maybe you'll stay here, maybe here, maybe you combine um, peace fingers around the big toes or hands around the feet. Whatever you are, try to stay long through the spine, inhale, and then as you exhale, bend the elbows and fold. Feel very stiff because having that much movement today, but feels good. Okay, from here, you take the arms back up, release the arms down, cross your ankles, and come back to downward facing dog. And we'll be repeating the same postures on the other side. Couple of breaths here. Try to connect again with Yahi Pranayama, or just activating core, pelvic floor, your Mula Bandha, or Vijani Bandha. Okay, inhale, look towards the front of the mat, lift a little bit your left foot, and then bring it to the outside of the mat, outside your left hand, hold here, stay active through the right thigh, chest open. And then slowly allow the right knee to come down, relax the toes, you can come down to one forearm, maybe, maybe even both. You can allow the knee to drop a bit. People the foot aside if that helps you. For lizard pose. There's a lot of lizards in Tenerife. So that is very appropriate. I'm filming here in the lizard pose. Okay, if you're on the farms, come back to your hands. And let's just walk with the left foot around towards the right side of the mat. Drop the knee for pigeon. Just yourself, you can always use a bit of support. You can bring the left foot by the right hip. That will be easier. You can simply stay here or we can come down to sleeping pigeon. Keep breathing, especially if you notice this is hard. Make sure the breath doesn't become shallow. And then come back onto your hands. And then let's go to fire log pose, right foot on top of the left knee. Maybe your knees won't be touching. Try to keep the, flex, the toes flexed. You can keep your hands on the thighs, maybe behind you, maybe in front. Or if you feel very open, you might be able to fold forward. Wherever works for you. Then come off hard log pose. Let's try to go to Kamukasana, cow face pose. So now bring one knee on top of the other. The more horizontal you keep the shins, the harder it will be. The closer you take the feet towards the hips or the heels, yeah, towards your bum, please, it will be. Take the right elbow up and back. This is option one. You can bring then the left arm around. If you're able to bind great, otherwise keep your hands there or use something like a shirt or on your hands or belt. And we can either hold it here or fold forward to feel again the hips a bit more. So you should be feeling the, especially the top hip, the right hip and the left shoulder. Try not to sacrifice the length of the spine. And release. From here we're gonna add the twist. Take the arms up, turn to the right first. Look over the shoulder, left hand by the thigh, right thigh, right hand behind you. Come back to the middle, inhale and twist the other way. It will feel different. Right arm by your right knee, left hand behind you. Come back to center, release the arms, come back to straight legs, but we're gonna do equal arms. So we're gonna be taking the right elbow underneath the left, try to connect the palm of your hands. Think of your arms about 90 degrees, elbows as high as your shoulders, and then little fingers or thumbs reaching away from the face. You should feel in the back of the shoulders. Stay active through the thighs, stay tall. Breathe and release. Same thing on the other side, left elbow around 
back of the right arm, connect the palms of your hands as much as you can, and then think of again, elbows as high as the shoulders, extend the arms forward, so thumbs, little fingers away from the face. Notice the difference on each shoulder, which side is tighter, holding in for breath, feet active, thighs active. Okay, release. And then from here, we're gonna to try to come back again to Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Come back to tall, release the arms, bend your knees. And we're gonna roll down. You can support the back of the thighs, so just keep them on front of you to stay more active. Once you make your way on your back, you're gonna take the knees to the chest, open for happy baby, and under Balasana, you can support the back of the thighs, calves, feet, big toes again with the middle fingers or peace fingers. Begin to rock a little bit side to side. You can extend the legs a little deeper if you wanna feel more the inner thighs. And then again, bring your knees to your chest, back to Upanasana where we started. Hug your knees tight and then release. For Savasana, legs extended, arms slightly away from the body. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose. One more time, let it go through the mouth. Continue breathing, but return to natural rhythm of the breath and try to slow it down, just breathe normal. Literally the breath should be slower than when we started. And continue observing your body, trying to relax everything from the tip of the toes to the top of the head. Noticing if there's an area where you're still holding tension, see if you can consciously let that go. Trying to feel hips a bit more open, hopefully the shoulders a bit more open too. Not just the front of the shoulders, but the back of the shoulders as well. And the same with the hips. Think of not just the front of the hips, the back of the hips too. And take another full breath here, in through the nose, out through the nose. And you can continue to stay in Savasana if you've got time. Otherwise, just begin to wriggle your fingers, toes, circle a little bit your feet, wrists, and extend a bit the arms and the legs away from each other as if you were waking up in the morning. Bend your knees, support the head with one arm, roll to your side, continue with your eyes closed. So transition another full breath before we come up into a seat. Slowly come into sitting. Come to a comfortable seated position. It can be sitting on your heels, can be cross leg, can be sukhasana, which is one leg aside in front of the other. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Take the hands on Jali Mudra, your prayer position, thumbs touching the sternum. Stay tall, continue with your eyes closed or your soft gaze. And I'd like you to remember how we felt at the beginning of this short class. Hopefully we, our breath, our body feels a bit more relaxed, a bit more open. And with that idea, we're going to set an intention for the rest of your day, the rest of the week, next few days. As always, be grateful and kind to yourselves for spending time to this class today, it's not always easy to find a few minutes. We're gonna take another deep breath through the nose. One last time, let it go through the mouth. Let go in your remaining tension. Open your eyes slowly, or just simply bring your gaze back on front of you. And as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste. May gently bow our heads. Release the hands. 
And then as I do, bring yourself back up. Good. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the class. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you soon in one of my other classes. Bye-bye.